Hey everyone, I am Zayab Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In the previous video, I showed you how to create reusable confirmation dialogs with Angular Material components. In this video, I will show you how to lazy load your material dialogs using an advanced way that I learned recently. First, why do we need lazy loading? Well, whenever you create a material dialog component, it is included in your main app bundle by default. This works great for small apps, but for medium to large apps, you might have several different dialogues for different sections of the app. Why should we load all of them up front when the user might only need some of them? Enter lazy loading. Lazy loading means the dialog components will be bundled separately and will be fetched when the dialog is opened. So as you can see we have our main bundle here and when we open our dialog only then the separate bundle will be loaded. This ensures your main app will load fast for your users and the dialog is only loaded when needed. Just a disclaimer, this technique only works with Angular version 9 and above with the IV compiler. So let's get started and see how exactly we can do this. First, we'll ensure we have the material library installed and the dialog module included in our project. We can do that with ng add angular material. Then we'll add the mat dialog module in the app module also the mat button module and the mat toolbar module for our app. Next, we'll create our dialog component which we want to lazy load with the name simple dialog. ng generate component. We'll add it to our dialogs folder and the name will be simple dialog. Let's go into our component. For now, We'll just give it a title and some text. We'll also remove it from our main app module because we don't want it to be included in our main bundle. Next, let's create the service. We'll call it lazy dialog service. So we'll do ng generate service, the services folder, and we'll call it lazy dialog. Let's open that service up. And let's create a function called open dialog. This function would take as the input the dialog name, which will be a string, and it will return the material dialog reference. The first and the most important bit here is to use the web webpack import function to get the dialog component chunk. So we'll do chunk is equals to await import. Now since this is an import uh, await uh, identifier, we will need an async identifier on our function as well. The path inside of our import function will be the path of our component and this would be in our dialogs folder and then inside of it we will use the dialog name to construct the path. Now when webpack sees this import function it will create chunks of all of the components in the folder expecting that any of them can be lazy loaded. Once we fetch this chunk we just need to get the first value of this object so we'll do object.values and we'll get we'll use a chunk and we'll get the first array value and we'll cast it as component type unknown which is the input for the mat dialog then we'll just add the mat dialog to our constructor first go private dialog mat dialog and then we'll just use the open function and return it here Lastly, since it is async, we have to return a promise and we'll also give the mat dialog reference of a cast of any, a type of any, so that it accommodates all components. Great! We just need one last bit of change to get this working as it should. We need to add the dialogs folder to the tsconfig file. 
we'll go in includes and we'll add the path here this ensures the dialogues are compiled properly otherwise you'll get a warning let's now quickly create the button and we'll include a public lazy dialog service instance and we'll call it from our click function lazy dialog open and we'll specify simple dialog let's do ng serve and test we'll open up our developer tools to see exactly what happens when we open the dialog let's refresh this first so as you can see as the dialog is opened only that component chunk is loaded when we click on the button and this contains the whole component that we created great this works well now this is great for very simple dialogs but we'll need material components and other packages in our dialogs as well to do that we need to declare a module in our dialog component to bind everything up so let's go back to our component dialog component and add an ng module decorator here in the declarations now we can specify our dialog component and in the imports we can specify the packages that we need so we need mat dialog module we need the map form field module and we need the mat input module we'll also uh, we'll also write export class and give the name uh, a fictional name of our dialog module we'll quickly add four fields now and a title to test this out let's go in our template and let's copy uh, something that i've prepared before and let's quickly test this let's reload this and we can see the main chunk has remained the same and when we open the dialog we'll see that okay yes it, the dialog chunk loads fine and it shows up fine as well when you look into this chunk though you will see it not only contains a component but also the material library dependencies that it needs so here it has a form field mat form field dependencies and the validators and everything that it contains to show a more complete example i have created two more dialogs one with a youtube player and the other with a material list and icons let me quickly show it to you so as you can see i have added two more dialogs to my dialogs folder it's my list and my video and as you can see in the list we have the component and its imports that are required and we have then added two more buttons to show and use the same function to open it up let's test this this is how it appears as you can see the main chunk remains the same and but when we click on form dialog it will load the chunk for the form dialog when we come click on video it will, is going to load the video dialog and when we click on list it's going to load its own separate chunk great so each has a separate chunk and loads when we open them up and the best thing is our main app bundle size remains the same as it was, it was before this way we can theoretically add as many dialogs as we want without affecting our app size one bit so there you have it we covered an advanced way to lazy load angular material dialogs which will help you avoid bloating your apps with unnecessary code and only load the dialogs when necessary if you like this video be sure to subscribe for more thanks for watching